What is up, my retail fam? It's your boy Mike Kanetra from Wait For It. <laughs> Wait For It. You already know. You already know. I do not know why people like this, but you already know where I'm coming from. The crib. Now, this is not financial advice. This is my own personal opinion. Before I get started, you can like and subscribe, keep on scrolling, or you can just hang out for a couple of minutes. Now, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Hope you have a blessed evening. Hope you have a great night with your companion, no matter who it is. And again, don't drink a drive. Have a safe evening. Happy, happy Valentine's Day to all. Okay. Now, Couple things I want to mention. Now, first and foremost, it's cold out here. It's been raining all day. <laughs> yeah, I know it, it's 48 degrees right now. I'm used to 65 and the sun out. Okay. Now, in the comments below, let me know what the temperature is where you're at. Okay. I know it's much colder. I know you don't feel sorry for me. Like this dude is just bitching for nothing. Okay. Yes, I am complaining a little bit. But anyways, in the comments below, let me know how cold it is where you're at. No matter what part of the world you're in. Okay. Part of the country, part of the world, it is what it is. Now, let's get to what I want to talk about. Now, this morning, the CPI report came out. And with that being said, okay, there's still problems with the CPI report that there's, there's uh, inflation that's running rampant in some sections of the CPI report. Now, again, housing market. Housing market is still a major issue, and this is not pricing to the stock market, okay? Now, with that being said, here's another thing I want to tell you is that the CPI report, for me personally, I still believe that we're entrenched in a bear market. I still believe that inflation is running rampant, and I don't think they have a clue. Even though they, they use the report, they just report to fit their agendas, they don't want the market to crash, and there's people out there that believe that right now we're at the beginning stages of a bull run. Now, I completely disagree with that. I still believe there's going to be tons of downside. Uh, crypto is going to be, as a crypto market cap overall, it's going to be under $1 trillion. I still, it gets to the $800 billion range, uh, and possibly even further. I still feel there's at least one more huge dip to the downside when it comes to the stock market, okay? So therefore, I remain liquid. And I'm just hanging back. I have, I'm zero, uh, zero crypto at all. I'm just liquid in all my accounts. And when it comes to stocks that I hold, obviously AMC, Ape, GameStop, and SoFi. And that is it. Now, let's talk about AMC really quick, okay? Now, I told you I'm going to keep track of the option chain. Now, the reason why for this is because I'm going to show my retail fam how many options that we're buying that are out of the money and how much premium that's pretty much being siphoned away, just being taken, stolen from, okay? Now, the last few weeks we had, uh, we finished off. And places that we didn't want to finish off. We finished off at five dollars fifty cents, five fifty, six bucks, and this past week was just under five dollars. Okay, now this week it looks like we're fighting for four fifty, depending how the market goes. Now I know that we have a lot of news coming up. We have on March fourteenth. We, you know, they're talking about conversion, reverse stock split, many things. Whatever they announce, however that plays out, there's still issues. I did not see AMC running up to ten bucks, nine bucks, or eight bucks. If, if it runs up, it'll probably be around the $7 range. If I'm wrong, then hey, you know what? I'll be more than happy that everybody says, hey, you know what? AMC didn't run up. I do not think I'm wrong. Simply because the amount of suppression that's going on with not only AMC, but GameStop and Dark Pools, and we already know the whole story across the board, okay? Now, get back to the option chain when it comes to AMC. On Sunday night, I made a video, and I told you how many calls uh, that are out of the money. That number was 293,000 plus, okay? Now, Monday night, which was yesterday, and I wish there was Monday night football. Season's over, go KC, whatever. But out of the money calls are 321,000, okay? Now, today, which is Tuesday night, this is per Yahoo, okay? We're in the after hours, about 6 o'clock out here in the West Coast, not in Southern California. But there's about 350,000, 355,000 plus call that are out of the money when it comes to AMC, okay? Now, that's the difference of from Sunday night to now, about 61,000 plus, okay? That's a huge number. And this number keeps increasing, okay? That for along the week, uh, people start to get in the options simply because as the week starts to progress, they become cheaper. Now, options are getting crushed, okay? If you got an options last week or even on Monday or even today, you're losing money. You're getting premium siphoned away. Now, if you want to get the options tomorrow, again, I can't tell you how to spend your money, but unless you know what you're doing, you get in and out, or if you have options with a four hour date for your protection, okay? Um, be 90 days, 120 days. Just be very careful. Again, my retail fam, market makers and hedge funds are just taking your money and they're using it for liquidity. There's no if, ands, or buts about it, okay? That's exactly what has happened. Now, when it comes to the put side, there's about uh, 35,000 puts since Sunday night to now that are out of the money. And it's not very much. It's almost half, okay? So we're going to see this this number because this Friday, which is the 17th, is actually a monthly. So we're probably going to see this out of the money um, option contracts for AMC more than likely increase. And I, I'm probably thinking we'll probably get to that $425,000 range or that $425,000 plus contract range. And that's a huge number because it depends on where AMC ends the week all those contracts will be out of the money, okay? So that's all I have to be very careful and gotta understand the price of Ape and AMC and GameStop is not the price of Ape and AMC and GameStop. And the retail investor, the retail investor, all of us, we're last to know, okay? We're not first to know, last to know. Have a good day, have a, uh, <laughs> have a blessed night, take it easy, peace.